Hello everybody, it's the 26th of April 2014 and welcome to DK News. In our first story this week we talk yet again about Google. There was outrage from Christians as the incredibly offensive Google Doodle went live Easter Sunday. I must warn you, the following images may not be suitable for all viewers. What you are seeing now is the incredibly offensive doodle that was put out on Sunday. Now you may not see the absolute just absurdity to the complete disregard for Easter, but many Christians have and they have taken to the internet to voice their opinion. Here are just some of the comments. Next up this week we go to Louisiana in the US, where State Representative Barry Ivey has introduced a bill called HB 1262. The bill requires that before abortion, women must be given a pamphlet which describes them the incredibly negative effects on their mental health. Now of course the bill completely ignores any proven studies that women who have had abortions are at no greater risk of having mental illnesses such as anxiety. Some analysts have criticised it saying that it forces doctors to lie to their patients but we would love to know what you think down below in the comments. In Europe, two T-95 Russian bombers had to be escorted out of NATO-controlled airspace by Dutch authorities. Now this is quite a normal activity, but considering the tension currently between Russian and NATO forces due to the uh, crisis that's currently going on in the Ukraine, we really need to start paying attention to how often these increase and possibly what danger Europe could be in. We wanted to close this on just one final note, which is net neutrality. This is very important to both aid by and many businesses around the world. On Wednesday, the US government shut down net neutrality laws, which basically means that anyone with money can pay internet service providers to up their website, or even take down another. So in Abyte's terms, this means that someone like Maker Studios can give ISPs money to take down the Abyte website. Whereas before, this practice was only really used to take down illegal sites. Now, as a British company, 8Byte can't do much about it. But if you are currently in America, please fight for this. This won't just affect 8Byte or YouTube networks. This will, fight, this will affect businesses all over the world. Any small business who wants to start up their website now has no chance. Because someone like Google could just say, nope, we don't want you. Anyway, we hope you fight for us, and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to leave it a like, and if you think you know someone who might enjoy it, be sure to leave it a share. And until next time, cheerio.